My dear Pisces, this is Clarity1129 and welcome to your March 2023 monthly predictions. I hope you're all doing well. Oh yes, how did I just start off in the same rut? A very happy birthday, my dear Pisces. Wish you many more. Wish you all the happiness and your dreams come true. And this is your season. You're going to be dreamy. You're going to have everything great going for you. All right. And wish you that and much more in your birthday season. Wow. I was just going to miss that completely. And I would have felt terrible about it. <coughs> and I remember that right in the beginning of the first reading, which was Aries. Because end of March is going to be Aries season as well. Uh, and... All that while I said, no, Pisces has to be wished. They have to be wished. And I just carried on in my usual fashion. Anyway, mm. so maybe you need to also work on your mindfulness just like I do. So we're going to follow the usual format. And I'm going to take out one card from the Moonology deck for the overarching energy of the month. And you get, wow, new moon and Pisces. Meditate and contemplate. All right, so I just told you about mindfulness, yes? So you need to meditate some more if you've been busy doing a lot of other things and grounding your energies, doing all 3D stuff, then it's time for you to take out some time for meditation as well. Now for this month, I'm going to use a very beautiful deck. It's a relatively new deck. I've used it before in other readings, but not in a prediction reading. This is called Tarot of the Golden Wheel, and I absolutely love this deck. Okay, so we're going to be pulling out four cards from here. I'm sorry about that. I first dropped the cards and I picked it up and then I shook the camera. Yes, so I would say I'm going to take out four cards uh, from here. One each for general outlook, love, romance and relationships, career and finances and spiritual growth. So for your general outlook, you get... The Four of Cups. Hmm. For love, romance and relationships, you get the Tower. Ooh. For career and finances, you get the Five of Wheels or the Five of Pentacles. And for your Spiritual growth, you get the emperor. What a contrast. All right. For those of you who know something about tarot, don't click off yet. You always find cards like this coming in the birthday month. Just when you want to give them, you know, the birthday uh, zodiac, the best reading ever, you'll find that they get the most difficult cards. That's just the way it is. And in fact, in uh, uh, you know, in experience as well, it's in the birthday month when you tend to fall sick often. So we're going to take out one card from the Lenormand deck and one uh, to further amplify and or clarify your overarching energy and you get whips wow aquarius just before you has got the same card hmm we're going to pull out two cards from the uh, tea leaf fortune telling cards and as i put my hand in my eyes are closed and i'm going to shuffle this and pull out two cards for you and this will further amplify and or clarify the uh, general outlook. I've got one here and another here. Let's take a look. Dragon, 
beware of self delusion hmm that's going perfectly with the four of cups and flu disappointment in a friend or lover oh, okay um for your love romance and relationships we're going to take out one card from the romance angel to further amplify and and clarify your tower card here what is this tower about spirit separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon all right for your career and finances you get abracadabra with wings fantastic good fortune and lucky chances all right and last but not the least we get the soul's journey oracle to further amplify and or clarify the spiritual growth card regret i know i cannot change the past all right so this is your basic reading we'll finish with this before moving into uh, the advice and whatever else there is so the overarching energy my dear pisces is to meditate and contemplate so if there are a lot of things happening in your life which are you know which have been keeping you stuck in this 3d reality and um if there are difficult energies you're being asked to center yourself and that comes with meditation all right bring yourself into balance and take some time out away from the hustle bustle and you need being a uh, a piscian it's natural for you to need um, you know periods of isolating yourself and to be in your head for some time and perhaps you've not been able to do that and this is what you're being encouraged to do all right it's also possible that when those difficult energies have come you've been talking down to yourself and it's time for you to release this energy it has never served anyone it will never serve anyone to keep beating themselves over every little thing all right we are divine beings but we are having a human experience and 3d reality can be tough all right and we can't have all the answers all the time we can't do everything perfectly and it is okay learn to forgive yourself just like you would forgive the next person so this is the message for you from this the universe at this time for your general outlook you get the four of cups you are in this mood wherein you want what you want or you're not interested your mood is off you don't want to see what's being offered to you even if the divine gives you an opportunity you are not interested you asked for what you wanted you manifested it if it's not coming you're not looking at anything else this is the energy that you are in and you're being asked to guard against it all right with this card here beware of self delusion you know um, it is good to have a vision it is good to put what you want out there to the universe but don't get stuck on outcomes and i know it's easier said than done we all get stuck on outcomes because we say yes we said that uh, this is what i want universe and you uh, give me um, what i want and whatever you give me i will accept we say that but finally we still stuck on what we want but you're being asked to use your discernment and possibly this will come to you when you meditate as to are you actually asking for something which is in your best interest or is it something that you are enamored by but may not be good for you in the long run so beware of self delusion is one thing and the other card that you get is disappointment in a friend or lover 
all right and with this tower card coming and the separation card here i feel maybe you've had a falling out with a special person your specific person whoever it is who means a whole lot to you and this is why you're in this energy that you want things to you are blaming yourself for everything with this regret card here you want to change things and you feel that it's not happening and you're just blaming yourself over everything all right you're also disappointed in them but you're blaming yourself for everything with and this is the energy in which which you're moving into your birthday season and this has to change and we are going to get you to change that my dear pisces all right with this tower card here for some of you you know people look at the tower card and they get really upset about it because it shows there's going to be a major change all right your the tower that you've built with love and a lot of effort it's just falling down it's not a good feeling but the fact is the tower falls down only when you have built your tower on a shaky ground all right if it was made on solid ground with the right things in the way it should have been built it wouldn't fall it's fallen because you have overlooked a lot of things there have been red flags you overlooked it and that's why it's fallen and it may feel devastating to you but actually it happens for your own good because it uh because the universe knows you're not going to break your tower no matter how shaky it is you'll somehow manage but you deserve more than that so they break the tower for you and they say now build and build it correct all right so this is the message that's coming to you with this tower card here my dear pisces all right uh time apart from your partners on the horizon and i feel that for a lot of you who are uh, i'm i'm talking about those who are in uh partnerships of different kinds either you just partnered up you're living together uh for some of you you just you know at different stages in your relationship and for some of you it's a marriage things are not going very smooth in your connection all right for a long time maybe you've closed your eyes because you just are in love with this person and you wanted to work maybe you've been putting in all the effort whichever way it is you will be able to be, you know you're the best judge in your connection but this tower moment is happening where your person has to go for some of you they're going because um work is calling them or for some of you maybe you've had a sort of a break in your connection uh for very few of you and see whatever i'm telling you here is not something that you're hearing it here for the first time you already know what's happening in your life there is nothing that you are coming to you know if you're living a perfectly happy life a happy marriage suddenly because you see the tower card your uh, uh, you know marriage is not going to crumble this is for people who already know what they're going through if you're already going through very rough energies and you already it is there in your mind to want to walk away from it to have a divorce uh, for a very few um, people this is going to be a separation for that and you know what is good about this separation because both of you you and your partner get that time to actually meditate and contemplate and review your relationship while you're in the peace and quiet of your you know your own uh, space you're there and you're thinking about everything that's happened you're trying to process it why what happened happened is it for your ultimate good or not this is what you've been thinking and this separation is actually going to do both of you a lot of good because it's going to clear your mind all right and you will be able to decide whether you need to give your love a second chance or whether you need to let it go and this is going to be one way or the other it's going to be extremely liberating and very positive for both of you as individuals and if you decide to come back together for your connection as well all right for those of you who are single sorry it's possible when you are going through a tower moment you meet this person who uh, could be uh, either an aries yes i think uh, or a scorpio all right uh, maybe you're you're at work there's some crisis management and this person comes and helps 
or this person sees you how you are handling yourself during a crisis and they are totally enamored by the way you are and you know so they will move this forward this is for those of you who are single and as i said about those of you who are partnered this is going to be a bit it will feel like very rough energy because it's not a smooth sailing energy but remember this is for your own good so when this happens don't be in the stubborn energy of i don't know i don't want to know i want it like i want it no this is time for you to meditate and just look at it you know embrace that hangman uh a spirit which is pisces energy look at things from a different perspective and you will get the answers all right for your career and finances these are totally contradictory cards you feel uh with the five of pentacles that you're being left out in the cold nothing is working as far as your career is concerned you've been putting in effort and you're getting absolutely nothing you're feeling you know as though you've had a loss in your business but actually speaking this is a wonderful time you are not seeing what's coming in do not throw in the towel do not give up what you're doing is beautiful and there is fantastic good fortune and lucky chances coming you know sometimes what happens is that when things are not going uh, right in one area of our life we tend to put that energy into every other area of your li- of our lives all right so this is what you're perceiving your uh, career and your finances to be but it's not so bad and in fact it's brilliant all right and you will see it in this month of march how things change for you as far as your career and finances are concerned for your spiritual growth you have the emperor and regret i know i cannot change the past so for this especially for those of you who have been in a marriage and uh, this is some sort of regret you have because you've had a falling out with your husband uh or your wife or your spouse whichever way uh, it's actually got nothing to do with husband but usually when the emperor card comes it is uh, you know husband energy it's taken as that just like the king of pentacles or a father figure so for those of you who are single this could be a father figure in your life all right something has happened between the two of you maybe you had a, sp- a spat you've said things which were which you didn't really didn't mean to say it but you said it at the spur of the moment and then there was this break and then you're not talking to one another maybe and you regret speaking the way you did but you know that you can't change your past in the sense that you can't take the words back but damage control can always be done if you have the right intention if you are coming from a place of authenticity then no matter who you've had a spat with no matter where you made you know unless it's something that you have actually physically harmed someone where you can't change that you know everything else there is a solution if you come from an authentic place if you actually feel bad you feel that regret you can always do damage control the only time you can't do damage control is when your ego comes in that you have made a mistake you're feeling sorry for it you want to tell them you're sorry but your ego comes in the way that is the only time when you can't change the outcome of anything in your past that's happened otherwise there's always a solution from your side if the other person doesn't exp- uh, um you know uh, accept it then the ball is in their court but you have tried and then you can give yourself closure all right so keep that in mind my dear pisces so this is the end of your basic reading now let's take a look uh we'll take out one advice card for you one each from the angel and ancestors oracle and the prism oracle and you get father sky trust in the unknown yes whatever is happening be it this tower moment in your relationship or be it this perceived five of pentacles where you feel nothing is moving or this path that you've had with someone who's dear to you and you're regretting it whatever it is it was meant to happen 
and things are you know were happening behind the scenes trust the unknown father sky all right this is divine plan and in time you things will be revealed to you and you'll realize that you've been in such a sad state for no reason something beautiful is going to come out or whatever it is that's happening right now and you don't see it and even coming to a tarot reading with me telling you this is not going to convince you of it all right but it is coming and you get reflection yes this goes with this meditate and contemplate whatever is happening happening here to get you know yourself uh you've got to get yourself together to be able to process all of this and for that you need to meditate you need to take some time out and give yourself that time you are the high priestess you are very intuitive the most intuitive in the zodiac you are the hangman you are you have the ability to look at things from a completely different perspective you are the most spiritual in the zodiac and that is why you will face a lot of challenges but you are also ruled by jupiter which is the ultimate uh expansive energy lucky energy so you can never be in a dark energy for very long time so come out of your head and go deep within and let your inner guidance show you the way and you will find there's something beautiful waiting to happen all right and whatever you perceive as you know your world coming down no it's not coming down you will just watch beautiful things coming to you so where is it that you're going to see maximum change during this month of march and you get happiness yes there is a lot of happiness waiting to happen my dear pisces it doesn't feel like that yes the reading doesn't feel like that either but it is just waiting to happen so just trust all right and where uh, if there is something that you're expecting time related when is such a such thing coming or whatever it is which is time specific the answer is april wow so just after march when you cross march whatever it is that you're waiting for is going to come to you maybe if this person who's go going in separation is going to come back or maybe someone else who's special is going to come in or you know if you've been work, working for something and you're wondering when is it going to come you will start seeing the stirrings of that happening in march itself and maybe you'll get the information of it in march and it will actually reach you in april so whatever it is that you've been thinking of it's going to come to you in april all right and now last but not the least the angels are getting ready to give you an answer so if there is any pressing question on your mind think about it now and the angels are getting ready this is additional confirmation that you've been seeking and the answer is get more information someone else got it i don't remember was it aquarius only imagine aquarius i am an aquarius and this was the reading just before this and i've already forgotten uh so if there is something that you want to start something new that you want to begin get more information all right so then you uh, you will be able to make a better decision all right so that's all i have for you my dear pisces um this is going to be the highlight of this reading and this all right that beautiful things are waiting to happen as far as your finances and career is concerned you'll see it happening now whatever else that is difficult just know that beautiful things are waiting to happen things are happening behind the scenes you don't see it just trust all right 
I wish you all a very happy birthday. I wish I could have given you better cards, but it is what it is. But remember, there is tremendous growth coming. And I know you wouldn't want to hear that. So I'm going to keep this here. And I would like you to focus on things that are positive and know that wonderful things are just waiting to happen. And when you're going to blow those candles on the cake, just make that wish. Whatever it is that you want, it comes true. And you keep your arms open to receive. All right? It's just coming. Whatever it is that you want. All right, my dear Pisces? I wish you all the best and wish you a very happy birthday. And I hope all this happiness that you're so deserving of comes to you as soon as possible and remains. All right? So that's all I have for you. Sending you lots of love and light. Bye-bye.